Are you moving to Arizona, considering one of the Arizona 55 plus communities? Well, today I'm gonna to show you Sun Lakes AZ. It's one of the 55 plus communities in the East Valley AZ. So if you're wondering what it would be like living in Sun Lakes, maybe the cost of living, the neighborhoods, or even the feel and lifestyle of the community, then keep watching while I welcome you to Sun Lakes, Arizona. Hi, I'm Diana Benson with EXP Realty. Welcome to another episode of The Great Escape, where we talk about everything moving to Arizona and living in 55 plus communities in Arizona. We help people move to Arizona all the time, and I'd love to help you. Please feel free to call anytime, seven days a week, all my contact information is listed below. Now in this video, I'm gonna welcome you to Sun Lakes. So whether you're looking for the best place in Arizona to retire or just information on 55 plus active communities in the area, this video is for you. I'm gonna give you the overall rundown of exactly what it's like living here in Sun Lakes. Sun Lakes is located on the southern border of the East Valley, just west of Arizona Avenue and north of Hunt Highway, south of Queen Creek Road. It's about three miles east of the I-10 and five miles south of the 202 freeway. It's 24 miles southeast of Phoenix and only 30 minutes away from two different airports, the Sky Harbor International Airport and the Mesa Airport. Now it's close to everything, including the freeways for easy access to the valley. And Costco and Chandler Fashion Center is located just 15 minutes north. It's approximately five to 10 minutes from the hospitals. And it's close to several different activities, including the Firebird International Raceway, casinos, Rawhide, which is like an 1800s old west town, and healthcare providers. Also even has the college campus in the community from Gilbert Chandler Community College. There's two other 55 communities just located just east of the community and all the support facilities in the area to take care of all of them. You'll never run out of places to eat, shop, or golf. Now Sun Lakes provides a vacation lifestyle resort-like living. It has several gated communities and five country club communities. It was established in 1972 by Ed Robeson, who purchased 2,560 acres of farmland to compete with Sun City. Building continued through 2006. Just under 15,000 people live here within 5.4 miles. There's 6,683 homes. This is the only adult community that is a 40 plus community versus the typical 55 plus years of age. But even so, 95% are over 55 years old and 40% above 75 with a median age of 73 years old. 55% are females, 45% are males. Crime rate is 34% lower than the national average. Cost of living though is 15% higher than the US average and about 13% higher than the Arizona average. There are many employment opportunities within 20 minutes from the Sun Lakes, including American Express, Intel Corporation, and Honeywell. Now, Sun Lakes consists of five different communities and includes single family detached, attached, and manufactured homes. Sun Lakes, which is a non-gated community surrounded by Sun Lakes Boulevard, um, has 2,139 homes built in 1970. Now Cottonwood is 2,736 homes built in the 1980s and include both single family and villa homes, like duplexes. Palo Verde is the first gated community with 1,073 homes built in the 1980s and 90s and it has access to the Cottonwoods facilities. Iron Oaks Ironwood Country Club was built in the 1990s. It's a second gated community. And finally, Oakwood Country Club is the newest community. It has both single family and villa style homes. And now these two communities combined have 734 homes. All the communities have access to the Sun Lakes community facilities. Now HOA fees range from about 1,300 to 2,400 annually. Now, as far as golf courses, there's two of them, Ironwood and Oakwood, that are open to the public. But homeowners do receive preferred reservation times. Now, and for snowbirds, you can buy seasonal passes so you don't have to buy annual memberships. 
Now there is so much going on all the time with year-round golf at the four 18-hole golf courses, three nine-holes golf courses, five clubhouses, cafes, restaurants, on their seven tennis courts, hot tubs, billiards, pools, spa, sauna, tennis, pickleball courts, fitness center, Zumba, ballroom, clubs like photography and computer and theater, card games like bridge and bunco. It's just so much more. There's also other things in the area like fishing lakes, Sunset Grill, and Mulligan's Bar and Lounge. Residents claim that it's the best active community in the valley. It has HOA sponsored events such as taking bus trips to the professional sporting events in surrounding cities. Next, let's talk about the cost of living. The price of housing varies, and if you have additional questions, I can send you more detailed information, but here are some general pointers. Now, manufactured homes currently range from $229,000 for a 960-square-foot two-bedroom house built in 1980 to a 1,777-square-foot house on the golf course with two bedrooms and a two-car garage built in 1979 for $399,900. Single family homes range in style. There's the ranch style with a composition shingle roofing and Spanish style with a tile roofing. This is one of the reasons for the large value range. Now prices mostly range from 285,000 to 2.5 million. There's one currently available though for 14.6 million. Now the $285,000 house is an 1115 square foot home built in 1984 with a two car garage and two bedrooms. Some additional examples would include a Spanish style home built in 1987 with 1,823 square feet, three bedrooms, two car garage for 440,000. And there's a 2,076 square foot house built in 2003 that has two bedrooms and two car garage in Sun Lakes for 555,000 in the gated portion of the community. And finally, there's that 22,868 square foot house built in 2009 in the gated subdivision of Oakwood on a 1.6 acre golf course lake lot and it's for 14.6 million. Now the last category is the villas or the attached homes. Now there's they range from 1,380 square feet with a two-car garage and two bedrooms built in 1981. There's one available for 344,000 all the way to a 1,573 square foot um, units. And there's one of those available that were built in 1999 with a two-car garage and two bedrooms for 425,000. And most of the lots in that area are 2,400 to 4,500 square feet. Now, if you're looking to rent, prices really vary greatly depending on the length of stay and the view. Most of the units available right now are seasonal rates and they range from about $1,800 to $3,500. Some run as high as $5,000, but one house is currently available for a long-term rental for $2,400 a month. It's 1,841 square feet built in 2001 with two bedrooms and a two-car garage. Now, if you should have any additional questions about Sun Lakes, please don't hesitate to reach out and ask. I can send you whatever information that you need to better know the area. Please feel free to message me, call me on my number below, or send an email. Also, don't forget to subscribe above if you enjoy this video. Subscribe to my channel, The Great Escape, and watch some more of the videos. And visit our website for more information on your azrealestateconnection.com. I'm Diana Benson with The Great Escape. Until next time.